On day one, I spawned in as Mario. Hey, it's me, Mario. Except I was just a little baby. I only had three hearts. I looked around and saw Princess Peach. She was also just a little baby. Hello, Princess. Do you know where we are? I have no idea. It looks like some kind of forest. Huh? I looked around and all of the trees close to us looked like they had been burned down. The grass was dead too. We were basically in a little crater. Huh, that's odd. Just then, a bunch of Koopa Troopas came out from the trees and grabbed Peach. Hey, you let her go. I jumped on one Koopa and he took a lot of damage. Neat. I jumped again, but the Koopas got some hits in. I only had a little bit of health left. Before I knew it, some Koopa Troopas were taking Peach away. I didn't have the strength to fight all of them, but I tried to follow after to see where they were going. You let me go! Peach struggled, but it was no use. There were too many Koopas and she was tiny. I kept following, but then all of a sudden, they disappeared. Hey, where did they go? Huh? I looked around, but didn't see them anywhere. It was getting dark out, so I decided to find some shelter for the night. I would look for Peach tomorrow. On day two, I woke up and went to gather some supplies. I couldn't help Peach if I didn't have some sort of weapons. I gathered some wood from some trees and went to building a crafting table. Then I made some wood tools along with a sword. This'll do the trick. I decided that I wanted to set up a base. I needed to make sure I was safe from Bowser and his goons. I got right to work gathering supplies and clearing out an area next to the water. It wasn't anything fancy, but it was safe. I went to grab some more supplies when I was attacked by some Goombas. Get away, you little shrooms. I drew my sword and went about slicing them up. It was super easy thanks to my new weapons. Yeah, take that. I gathered the rest of my materials and went back to put some finishing touches on the base. Home sweet home. On day three, I decided to go exploring for some new materials, and I needed some sort of food. My hunger bar was starting to get really low. I managed to find some mushrooms, but I wanted to find some animals. I happened upon a small abandoned house with some pigs and sheep in a pen. Perfect. Just as I was grabbing them, I heard a yell from behind some trees. I quickly ran over and saw my friend Toad. He was being attacked by some guys in masks. Hey, you leave my friend alone. I charged with my sword and smacked the Shy Guys left and right, but they were too strong. Run, Toad. Together, we ran through the trees and lost the Shy Guys. Mario, you're alive. And you're small. Yeah, I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? Everyone thought when you went to go save Princess Peach that you died. I was so confused. You went to go fight Bowser in his castle a couple of days ago. When you never came out, everyone thought he defeated you. Yikes. Well, I'm here, but I'm not as strong as I can be. Some Koopas kidnapped Peach, which I assume was Bowser's doing since they work for him. But I'm going to save her. I believe in you. I invited Toad to live in my base where I would be safe. He happily agreed, and we took off. On days four to five, I decided to make Toad a little house for himself. It was a nice little place, and he seemed really appreciative. Wow, this is great. Thanks. Thanks. Of course. I also planted a garden full of my mushrooms. I figured I should probably go out to get some food for Toad as well, so I went exploring. I managed to find some wheat seeds and some carrots, but then I was attacked by some Goombas. Get back! I managed to finish them off in just a few swipes. Man, if only everything was that easy. Just then, I noticed that one of the Goombas had dropped something. It looked like a big mushroom. I checked it, and it was a super mushroom. Whoa, cool! This will come in handy for later. I made my way back to the base with my seeds and began planting. It was really starting to come together. On day six to eight, I went to gather some animals. I hadn't gotten any before because Toad and I were attacked, but I was determined to get some now. I headed out near the water when I saw Bowser. He was with some of his Koopas. I decided to attack. Hey, give me back Princess Peach, you overgrown lizard. I charged at Bowser. He wasn't expecting it, and I managed to get a few hits in. Puny little man, take this. Just then, Bowser let off a breath of fire. Ow, 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 ow. I jumped away, trying to extinguish the flames. Bowser just laughed and took off with his goons. Wow, I forgot he could breathe fire. After another minute of letting my hearts regenerate, I went back to look for some animals. I had had a rough day, but I still needed to take care of me and my friend. On days 9 to 10, I headed back to the base with some sheep and pigs. I made some quick pens for them and herded them in so they wouldn't escape. Then I found Toad and told him about my encounter. That's awesome that you took on Bowser! I'm not as strong as I used to be, but I did get some hits in. I knew I could defeat Bowser, I just had to keep training. Then, I had an idea. Hey Toad, I want to build a statue just outside the base. It'll let people know that I'm still here and that I'm going to defeat Bowser once and for all. That sounds great! Toad agreed to help and we cleared out an area. We started building and managed to get some of the base done. Can you tell what it's going to be? I also made some modifications to the base, including a lounge area and a bigger garden. It was looking good. On days 11 through 12, I went back to my spawning point. I needed some more information about what had happened before, and I figured that might be a good place to start. I approached the crater and immediately I was sucked into the sand. Ah! Before I knew it, everything had gone black. Then, all of a sudden, I was my old self again. I was big and strong. I was storming Bowser's castle, fighting my my way through the Koopas. I defeated them easily and found Bowser in his throne room. He had Peach. Let her go, Bowser. He laughed and pointed a weird-looking shell at me. Peach managed to run forward and grab me as the magic hit us both. 
We disappeared as Bowser screamed. All of a sudden, I felt something pulling me out of the sand. I gasped for breath and realized it was Toad. Toad, how did you know where I was? I followed you because you were being super odd this morning. I saw you fall into the sand and I couldn't get to you for a while. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I remember what happened. I told Toad about my flashback. Whoa, that's crazy. I wonder where Bowser got a weapon like that. No idea, but he won't use it again. I'll make sure of it. On days 13 to 15, I went back out to gather some more supplies. I happened upon the same abandoned house where I found Toad and saw the same shy guys hanging out around it. I tried to sneak past, but they saw me and attacked. Hey, I wasn't doing anything to you. They didn't listen and just kept hitting me, but I was stronger this time and I managed to defeat all of them. Yeah! Just then, I felt a surge of power and I leveled up into a regular-sized Mario. I had my mustache back too. Hey, I feel like my old self again. I jumped and realized I could go much higher than before. Wow, this is amazing. I'm basically flying. I gathered the rest of the wood and branches easily with my new jumping ability. I could take on anybody now. On days 16 through 19, I found a cave that had some really great materials in it. I was able to gather some stone for some new tools and weapons. Neat! I went down further into the cave when I saw something floating in the air. What is that? I got closer and I realized it was a boo. Before I knew it, it saw me, but then it covered its face. Um, okay? Maybe it wouldn't be a problem. I started to mine some of the materials, but then it attacked me. I turned back around and it covered its face again. Okay, I see how it is. I tried to keep my eyes on the boo, but it kept getting attacks in. Eventually, I managed to hit it, and it disappeared in a puff. I hurried and made a crafting cable, and with my new materials, I made a stone pickaxe, sword, and other tools. Nice! I had some good materials and decided to head back to the base to make some upgrades. On days 20 to 22, I made it back to the base just as Toad started yelling. Help! It's Bowser! He's at the back door! I hurried and drew my sword before approaching the backside of the base. I went up onto the top of the wall and looked down. Sure enough, it was Bowser! Hey, get away from here, Bowser! He looked up at me and shrieked. I knew I would find you eventually. I heard you were in the forest somewhere. Give it up. You're no match for me. That's enough talking. I jumped down and attacked. With my new ability, I could jump to avoid Bowser, but I couldn't jump on top of his shell. His spikes were too, well, spiky. Ouch! Princess Peach is mine. You can't have her. Bowser drew a large breath and then breathed fire at me. I was able to jump and then land a blow on his head. Ah! He shrieked again and started to retreat. Yeah, run away, you coward. I'm not through with you yet. I let him go, knowing full well that I would see him again. I knew I could eventually beat him. I wasn't very strong, but I would get there. On days 23 to 26, I went back to the abandoned shack to check it out. I had been too busy trying to defeat the shy guys that I didn't even check out the house. Inside were a few beds and tables, but I found a secret hatch. Neat! It led down into the ground into a small room. In the corner was a chest. I opened it up, and there was a bunch of stuff inside. Wow, this is great! I gathered the string, iron ingots, seeds, and then I noticed there was an iron sword. Hey, this is exactly what I need! I drew the sword and took a swipe. It was much better than my stone sword. Wow, I feel great! And you know what will make you feel great? Subscribe! and clicking the bell. You'll be just as happy as me. I went back up the ladder with my new stuff, excited to show Toad what I had found. On days 27 to 31, I started to work on the statue, but then realized we needed some green dye. Hey Toad, where can I get some green dye? Cacti! If you grab a bunch of those, we should be able to dye some wool. Perfect, I'll go looking for some. I traveled through the forest for a while before making it to the desert. It was so hot. Sheesh, this is miserable. I looked around and saw some cacti. As I was approaching, I felt something hit me. What was that? I looked around and saw Pokey and had blended into the sand really well. But it wasn't just one pokey, there were a bunch, and I was surrounded. Jeez, where did you come from? I drew my new sword and started swatting at the plants. They kept falling on me and I had to dodge their tall bodies. After a minute, I had defeated them all. That was a new one. I grabbed as many cacti as I could hold and headed out of the desert looking for pokies. I saw some and quickly skirted around them. As fun as that was, I don't really want to do it again. I made it back safely and managed to dye the sheep green. I sheared them and started on the statue. It was looking good. We weren't even close to finishing, but it was going to turn out awesome. On days 32 to 35, I went out to look for some more people. I couldn't remember much from my former life, but I did know that I had friends. They were probably hoping that I was still alive. I went through the forest, past the edge of the desert, and went further into the taiga. I was traveling for a long time when I saw a light up ahead. When I got closer, I realized it was a castle. I don't remember whose this is, but I'm sure they are friendly. I approached and was immediately attacked by some Goombas. Get back! Just then, someone came out to help me. It was Daisy. After a minute, we defeated all of the Goombas. Daisy! You're alive! I'm so glad! 
She invited me into the castle, and tea was served. It's so good to see you. I desperately need your help. With what? Have you not heard? Luigi has been captured by Wario. Huh. Well, I guess you wouldn't have heard, since it happened the day after you disappeared. I couldn't believe it. Man, did us brothers have bad luck or what? I'll go get him. He is my brother, after all. Oh, thank you. You gave me directions for the lair that Luigi was being held in, and I started to make my way in that direction. On days 36 to 39, I went looking for Luigi. I knew that I had a brother, but all the details were fuzzy. That weird magic shell that Bowser had used on me was really doing a number on my memory. I made my way through the taiga into a tropical rainforest area. It was raining and I could tell that it was going to get dark soon. Ugh, I'm all soggy. Just then, the rainforest opened up into a clearing. There was a rundown castle and lots of plants surrounding the walls. Looks easy enough. I saw a little bird fly past and all of a sudden, one of the plants gobbled it up. Piranha plants. I should have known. I scoped out the area again, trying to find a way around the carnivorous plants. I looked up and decided I was going to try to climb one of the trees overhanging the castle. I made my way over and jumped up the branches. All was going well until I stepped onto a slippery branch. Ah! On days 40 to 43, I was falling to my death. I was just about to hit the ground when I realized I was in water. I hadn't noticed the small river running alongside the castle. Phew, that was too close. I couldn't climb the tree, so I guess I had to go the original way. I maneuvered around the plants, slicing them if their jaws got too close to me. Before I knew it, I was at the front door. It wasn't even locked as I went to open it. Amateurs. I walked in and up the stairs, where I saw Luigi in a cave. Brother! I ran toward him, but then Wario and Waluigi stepped out. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, Red. You're ours now. <laughs> yeah, ours. Give me a break. I attacked the goons and they screamed. What were they expecting? A nice little chat over brunch? I attacked over and over again. And before I knew it, the goons were gone. They dropped a key, which I picked up. Brother, you're alive. Yeah, it's all Bowser's fault. I'm getting stronger, though. And pretty soon, I'll save Peach. Again. What is it with these princesses getting captured? I looked at the cage Luigi was in and raised my eyebrow. Never mind. Just help me out. I used the key to unlock the door and embrace Luigi. It's good to see you too, brother. Let's get you back to Daisy. Wait, I need to grab my stuff. Luigi went over to a nearby chest and grabbed some things. While he was doing that, I looked throughout the ruins to see if there was anything worth taking. I did find some wool, a few emeralds, and a diamond pickaxe. Wow. Not bad. We made our way out of the castle, carefully, and back to Daisy's castle. She was ecstatic to see Luigi again. Thank you. If you would like to stay here, you are more than welcome. Thanks, but I have a base not too far away. Well, don't be a stranger. If you need anything, you know where to find us. On days 44 to 49, I made my way back to the base. I found some sheep along the way and managed to lead them back. I figured that the statue needed some work, which meant more wool. I went straight to dyeing the sheep and shearing their coats. Toad came out and I told him all about my adventures. He helped me on the next part of the statue and it was looking really nice. Can you guess what it is now? I also used my new pickaxe to gather some better materials for the base. I made the walls taller and added some more security measures. I didn't want Bowser anywhere close to us again. On days 50 to 53, we were under attack. The base was on fire and Koopas were running around. I managed to fight some off when I noticed that Bowser was hanging back in the forest. Coward, why don't you fight me yourself? He roared and the Koopas tried to retreat. I managed to finish off a couple more as I made my way toward Bowser. Just then I felt a surge of power and I leveled up into a bigger version of myself. I screamed at Bowser and a plume of fire came out from my mouth. Whoa, I'm Fire Mario! Bowser must have been scared, because he immediately began running away with the remaining Koopas. I hurried to put out the flames before it engulfed the entire base. I went to go check on Toad, but he wasn't in the house. I went looking around the base, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Oh no, Bowser must have taken him! It was all my fault. I was too preoccupied with the Koopas and getting to Bowser that I didn't even notice them taking my friend away. I felt awful. I needed to find Toad, but I had no idea where to go. On days 54 to 57, I fixed the base. I needed to make sure that nobody ever could get in again. I made larger and thicker walls, built security towers, and even added some pressure plates with traps. No way anyone is getting in here. I knew I needed to save Toad. I just needed some help first. I decided to go back to Daisy to see what she knew about Bowser and his henchmen. I made my way to her castle and was immediately greeted by Luigi when I got there. Brother, you've returned. Not to stay. I need some help. He led me inside and I chatted with him and Daisy about Toad being kidnapped by Bowser. Bowser doesn't keep prisoners in his castle unless it's Peach. He hands them all off to King Boo. They're friends, and King Boo gets a kick out of scaring people. That's awful. I'm sure that's where Bowser would have taken Toad. It's a long way from here, and it's very creepy. Everyone calls it Shadowland. Nothing grows there. How do I get there? They told me where the castle would be and wish me luck. He has probably imprisoned all sorts of innocent people there. Be sure to help them. Of course. I wanted to go save my friend, but I needed to make some preparations first. On days 58 to 62, I went searching for more materials. I found a cave and started mining some iron ore. I made some new tools and went digging deep deeper into the ground. 
After a while, I found some diamonds. Perfect, just what I was looking for. I was about to mine them when I was attacked from behind. I flipped around and saw a bunch of booze. I'm not in the mood, ghosty boys. I used my new iron sword to swipe at them. They tried to fly away, but I got them all. Take that. I went back to mining my diamonds and was able to gather enough to make some weapons and some armor. Now that's slick. I could take on anything with this getup. I was feeling more confident about saving Toad already. On day 63 to 66, I headed back to the base to work on the statue. I dyed more wool green as well as some yellow and gathered it all up to make the next part of the statue. It's almost there, just one last part to go. I felt happy about my progress and how strong I was getting. I was going to rescue my friend. I knew it. I also know that if you subscribe and click that bell, that would help me to have the support I need to go and rescue my friends. On day 67 to 70, I followed the directions Daisy and Luigi gave me to get to the Shadowland. They were right. It was super creepy here. All the ground was covered in some sort of weird moss and the sky was darker. I only want to stay here for as long as it takes to get my friends. Not a minute longer. I approached the castle and opened the tall double doors. They swung easily but made a haunting sound as they did so. Um, I hated that. I walked into the castle and the door swung closed behind me. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. All of a sudden, a bunch of boos came out from behind the pillars and started attacking me. These guys weren't shy at all about getting up in my face. I'd rather you not do that. Thanks. I managed to poof them all out of existence before heading up the grand staircase. King Boo has some fancy digs. I continued up further but couldn't find anyone. They must be in the basement. I continued back down the stairs, looking around for the entry to the basement. There didn't seem to be a staircase anywhere. Hmm, that's odd. I went into a room that I assumed was some sort of study. I looked at the walls and noticed that one of them looked like a different color than the rest of the bricks. I kept looking and noticed a cool little paperweight on the desk, shaped like a crown. I tried to grab it, but it was stuck to the desk. I tilted it and in doing so, opened up a secret passageway. Nice! On day 71 to 74, I went down the stairs into the creepy dungeon. There were cobwebs everywhere and I thought I heard screams as I descended further. I hope my friends are okay. The stairway opened into a large room full of cages hanging from the ceiling. I could see Toad! You're here! I ran to get closer to the cage, but then I felt something hit me from behind. I immediately felt dizzy. I turned around and could barely make out King Boo with his crown and scepter. He laughed at me with his creepy smile. Someone wants to be a hero. How fun. He hit me again with his scepter and I felt myself losing health. Fast. The dizziness was overwhelming. What kind of weird magic was this? I'm here to friends my save from you, Boo King. Ah, uh, yes. The scepter is doing its job. Don't worry. You'll be unconscious in no time. I waved my sword around mindlessly. Move, you big ball of creepy creep. Before I knew it, I had fallen down and everything went black. On day 75 to 78, I woke up in a cage and my head hurt. Man, that did not go as planned. You're telling me. I looked over and could see Toad, along with Toadette, Yoshi, Rosalina, and Birdo. Wow, I guess we're all a bunch of geniuses, huh? You're still feeling the effects of the scepter. Just take it easy. Toad was right. I was feeling pretty awful still. I looked around the room and noticed there was a large release button on the wall, but it was too far away. Then I had an idea. Hey, everybody, try to take cover, okay? Everyone huddled in their cages as I let out my fire breath. I aimed toward the button, and the pressure from the fire activated it. All the cages popped open and we were free. Everyone, get upstairs. We need to escape. Not so fast. I looked and saw King Boo coming down the stairs. Everyone backed up against the wall. You won't get me again, Boo. He smiled his creepy smile and charged me. I let out another fire breath, which sent him flying. He screamed and tried to go back up the stairs. Not so fast. I let out another fire breath and got him square in the face. He screamed again. I ran up and hit him a few more times with my sword, doing some hefty damage. Then, in the blink of an eye, King Boo was no more. Yay! Everyone cheered and started heading up the stairs. We all made it out and headed toward the base, triumphant. On day 79 to 84, we traveled back to the base. It was a long journey, but we were all doing okay. Before we got there, we ran into Daisy and Luigi. We have just heard the most terrible news. What is it? Is everyone okay? For now, but Bowser has figured out a way to amplify the magic of the shell he used on you. He's going to make all of us small and weak and then capture us. Everyone started freaking out. Everybody, it's okay. I will go and stop him before he has a chance to use the shell. We thought it would be safer with you. Is it okay if we stay at the base? Of course. We continued to make our way to the base. I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it, but I needed to stop Bowser before it was too late. On days 85 to 89, we all arrived back at the base. We got right to work making more houses for everyone and planting more food. It was good to know that everyone could be safe here. After a while, Toad came up to me. I noticed that King Boo dropped his scepter and his crown after you defeated him, so I hurried and grabbed those before heading out. Good thinking, Toad. He gave me the items. Both seemed powerful, but I noticed the gems were missing in the crown. Huh? I wonder if that's what gave it its power. I already knew what the scepter could do, so I didn't think too much of it. Hey, let's finish the statue. Let's 
show Bowser just how powerful you really are. We went to work finishing up the last part of the statue. It had taken a good bit of time, but it turned out amazing. I was super proud of it. We went back down to the base where Toadette greeted me. I need to talk to you about the crown Toad found. Okay, what's up? Before Bowser captured Toad, the rest of us were all in the dungeon for a long time. I overheard Bowser talking to one of his henchmen about stealing the gems from King Boo's crown. He didn't want Boo to become more powerful than him. Boo assumed it was a servant who stole them, but it was Bowser. I know where he keeps the gems. You should get them so you can use the crown against Bowser. That's great information, Toadette. Thanks. Now I felt even more confident in my ability to defeat Bowser. On days 90 to 94, I traveled to the place that Toadette had told me about. It seemed like a smaller compound guarded by some Koopas, though these Koopas looked a little tougher than the other ones I had seen before. This must be the place. The security is better. He must be hiding some good stuff here. I snuck around and opened the door. I was met by a bunch of Koopas, which I smacked with my sword. I knocked out dozens of Koopas as I headed toward the small tower in the middle. Nobody could touch me. I was so powerful. I made it to the tower without a scratch and opened the door. I made my way up the stairs and into a small room with a chest in the middle. Get out of here before I turn you into a nice mantelpiece for the wall. I turned and saw a Koopa, this one larger than most I had seen. I'd like to see you try. The Koopa charged and actually got a few good hits in. He was a really good fighter. I dodged and swiped with my sword. He put up a good fight, but before long, he was gone. Oof, that was a bit tough. I went to the chest and opened it up. Inside was some gold, a bunch of netherite ingots, as well as the gems. I put the gems in the crown and it started to glow. I didn't want to put it on just yet. I figured I would save it for later. Thanks, Toadette. That was an awesome stash. I headed back to the base with my pockets brimming with all kinds of treasures. On days 95 to 97, I took the netherite I had found and upgraded my diamond gear into netherite armor and weapons. Nice, this is going to be amazing for my fight. I went around the base saying goodbye to my friends. Goodbye, brother. Good luck in there. Thanks. Thanks for all of your help. You go rescue Princess Peach and take Bowser down. Will do. Here's some mushrooms for good luck. Thanks, Toad. You're an awesome friend. Everyone waved as I left the base. It was go time. On day 98, I traveled to Bowser's base. I crossed all sorts of terrains on the way, which made it a long journey, but it was worth it if I could save my friends. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. It's been awesome having you so far. We'd love for you to tell us what you'd like to see next. I made my way over a hill and finally saw Bowser's terrifying castle. Now was my time to shine. On day 98, I approached Bowser's castle. This place is enormous. I entered the castle and it was empty. Huh, weird. I went up multiple flights of stairs without seeing anyone. Okay, this is really strange. I finally made it to the throne room where I saw Princess Peach. She was full grown now, just like me, but she was in shackles. Mario, help! I approached, but then remembered what happened the last time. I looked around and sure enough, Bowser was trying to hide behind a pillar, waiting to attack. Nice try, big guy. He held the shell in his hand, a sort of mechanism strapped to it. It seemed to all be taped together. It honestly looked a little silly. You do that yourself? Is that why all your Koopas left? They saw how incompetent you are and don't want to follow you anymore? What's it to you? I'm going to rule this land and nobody is going to stop me. He went to push a button and nothing happened. Huh? What? Why? You broke it, Bowser. I tried to tell you to give it up. You be quiet. Bowser tossed aside the shell, ready to breathe fire at me. I hurried and put King Boo's crown on. Just then, I leveled up into a huge Mario, just as big as Bowser. I'm Super Mario. I charged at Bowser with all my might. We exchanged blows. He was taking a lot of hits, but he wasn't doing too bad himself. I saw my health starting to decline, but couldn't give up now. Using all my strength, I made one final blow, knocking Bowser down, defeating him. Yay, you did it. Princess Peach jumped up and down for joy. We were free. On day 100, Princess Peach and I made it back to the base, safe and sound. Everyone cheered as we came in. It felt good to be a hero.